first of all, congratulations to all the teams. Uh, very nice pitches, well prepared. Um, most of all, good names, not like one strange company that was last year with the name Yodivo, Yodivo, trying to explain where this uh, uh, pronunciation comes from, which is a Swedish-based pronunciation. So the name is Yodivo. And uh, we are here now to tell you, to share our experience with you uh, one year after uh, winning the competition of uh, MIT Enterprise Forum Greece. So this is changing, I think, from this way. So I, this is a question, actually, to most of the founders and CEOs. How many of you have experienced something like this? Do you speak well? <laughs> so there are some uh, hands raised up there. Do you think that you sleep like a baby? Uh, of course, you can, um, you can interpret that in any way you, you like. Uh, if you don't wake every two hours crying and you want to eat, that's good, <laughs> because that will create other problems. But uh, Ben Horowitz, one of the greatest startuppers selling his company uh, to HP for 1.6 billion US dollars after uh, if I remember well, six years of operation, and then investing to a lot of other companies like GitHub, um, like uh, Facebook, Twitter, uh, had this problem. A and it's not good or bad if you don't have the same experience. It is just uh, something that if you have, you don't have to worry. It, it, is, it is normal. Uh, it is normal also not to consider that success looks like the, the left uh, line on, the, uh, on, on this side. Uh, success is not so easy. Success is very complicated, and especially um, for all of you are heroes, I think. All of you, all of us maybe, that uh, we, we try for, for a vision, we try to achieve our goals. Um, so I think you, ha you need to have this in mind and uh, be encouraged by all your efforts and uh, all your achievements. So uh, for, for us, uh, we, the time doesn't count in the same way like others. Uh, a startup year is different than a calendar year. A startup year maybe is twice a year of uh, somebody working in a company over 1,000 employees. A startup year is maybe uh, 10 times bigger than uh, or more productive than other people. Uh, but uh, still many things are happening. What happened for us last year? Uh, we experienced at the beginning of 2016 major expansion abroad and we had the significant customer wins. Then we were accepted by MITEF. Um, and uh, we, we had uh, uh, our first uh, um, recognition by participating to a pan-European competition that Microsoft organized, and we won the first place as the best uh, Internet of Things application enablement platform. Uh, after that, we found our first investor, and we signed the term sheet. And, uh, uh, around middle uh, last year, we were the winners of uh, MITEF uh, competition. And we thought that this would be a great summer with a lot of success. We, would, we had the investor, we had uh, uh, awareness, we had uh, gained some significant uh, design wins and customers, but uh, not everything is, uh, uh, you know, is uh, easy in this life. So immediately, one week after we won the competition, we had a significant, a major customer loss. And when I'm saying major, I'm referring to something that is more than $30,000 per month. That was major. And we had to inform investor. And the investor didn't trust us anymore. The investor stepped back. And we had to live with that. Actually, it's the first time that the, I, I started to rethink of what working for a cloud company means. It means something like a cloud following you and started raining and then you are in risk. But uh, it was at that time that one of our customers trusted and invested on us, actually invested exactly the same amount that we had asked from the investor. And then the same customer that we, we lost, not because of our fault, but because of a significant uh, reorganization of their company came back and in fact came back with two big projects. So you understand that uh, things change in less than three months and uh, it was not only that, we were qualified in uh, the final route of Nokia's uh, international competition 
uh, and we, we were in the 12 finalists among 400 companies and actually the only Internet of Things, industrial Internet of Things application enabling platform. So when we thought, what has happened? Is, is it everything accidentally? Is it everything because God plays with us? Or is it something else? Then I thought that uh, it is not everything by chance. It is that we build bridges. By winning the competition, it is just one of the bridges that we need to, to construct in order to grow. So for us, winning the MIT Enterprise Forum Greece competition was really a significant bridge. The results are not obvious immediately. The results, you can see the results a, a few months later or even a few years later. Since then, our goal and our objective is to continuously build bridges in any way in terms of customers, in terms of uh, making our business model better, in terms of trying to improve our products, our services. Um, so building bridges should be a continuous effort. And uh, what actually means uh, the competition for us, the, the, the first prize in the MITEF competition? It was a bridge to growth, a bridge to professionals network, and a bridge to confidence or self-confidence. It was very important. All the three, all these three uh, bridges were very important for us. So, during the last year, now let's go to some more pleasant thing. During the last year, we managed to attract a lot of customers on our platform. Our platform, although it's a horizontal platform, is uh, uh, mainly uh, we have mainly customers from three verticals. One, one is retail where we make extensive use of our um, image processing algorithm and real-time analytics based on computer vision. We have customers uh, in general from asset tracking requiring any kind of asset tracking either indoors or outdoors. We have uh, customers from uh, um, big dairy companies like Dodoni where we have uh, um, installed sensors either in the factory or in, in the vehicles or even in the farms in order to, to control the production, the distribution, and the milk collection. Meanwhile, we improved our business model. So initially it was platform as a service and solution as a service, but we also considered white labeling, which was in fact technology licensing, which was very, very promising. So currently, the, 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 the stage we are is that we are, we are experiencing high growth. We are looking for investors. To, we continue to build bridges. We have a, a very concrete financial plan. We have a long-term value. And we believe that uh, we have the ability to grow here and abroad. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.